Um, so I wanted to talk about Supernatural because the most the most recent episode, um, as time goes by, obviously was a big turning point because it gave us a lot of backstory that we didn't know, you know, for the yeah. Winchester family. And it also set up a lot for the future because now they know what they were meant to do and they also now have this place that they're going to find when they go to return that, that box. And um, that, I mean, Jeremy Carver said it himself, it opens a new chapter for them. Right. But there was something that, as, I did love the episode, I'll just say that. I reviewed it pretty highly, but there's one thing that bugged the crap out of me in the episode that I felt that I needed to bring up. Oh and it's, it's nothing against the writers and it's nothing against the show. It needed to be done this way. It just bugged me because anytime you have a character that is dealing in time travel for the first time, oh. all the same questions that other characters who have already dealt with time travel and know the answers to, they still have to be raised. Yeah. So the whole, why can't I just go back to an hour before Abaddon came through the door and fixed everything, it just, the repetition of that bugged me because we learned the first time the Winchesters ever time traveled when, when Cass sent Dean back to 1974 or 1973 or don't yell at me, I can't remember the specific year, you know, he basically sent him there to show him you can't change the future. This right. is what is meant to happen and this is what's going to happen. And yes, in season five, to a degree, the brothers proved that free will existed right. to a degree. But to see now in season eight, after they've time traveled again and again, Elliot Ness, the Wild West, etc., to see Henry just kind of like not get it, I was like, dude, we all get it. Get there faster. You know, because the rest of the episode I just, I really enjoyed. I loved the interaction between the grandfather and the, the grandsons, and I loved the idea of, well, this night of hell oddly was seems stronger than Lucifer in a lot of ways and oddly seems stronger than Lilith in a lot of yeah. ways and like that if they're gonna go further with what that means is really interesting um, and I really enjoyed just the whole legacy aspect just the right. whole like these John and uh, John's sons were supposed to be scholars ultimately they were supposed to be what Sam was trying to run towards like he right. ran away from the family business to go to Stanford to be a, a professional and and to study and really all he was doing was running back towards what he was always supposed to be he just didn't know and like right. that fascinated me that like Maybe. John's family business was so different and yet like it was the same in the end because right. they were hunting these things but it was the means were different right um and so all of that fascinated me, and all of that I was just really excited that after, you know, eight years of them not knowing what they wanted the Winchester's legacy to be, like, that it all matched up so well. But man, that, those, that discussion around time travel, I was like, oh, we get it. Can we not have this conversation? Can you have it off camera? See, we get it. See, we actually watched the episode together because we watched it in a screening. Yeah. I was wondering if you actually felt me tense up during that scene. Well, because it wasn't, and the thing was, it wasn't just once. There were a couple of little things that they right. repeated. But the, and but I the was, massive uh, one where he was about to go. Right, in, right. And, and I was like, I was. Because you know were, it's not going to happen. Right, but you know, we're, we're probably a little bit closer than here because we're in like seats that are mm -hmm. pre set up, whatever. They're kind of like desks and it's kind of awesome, like school, but whatever. Uh, it's like a movie theater. It's not like school. But there's a, but there's anyway. a desk that you can come yeah. out. Anyway. It's really fun. Anyway. <laughs> Anyway, but I was sitting there and I was having what we must described as fringe flashback, but fringe PTSD because of the time travel aspect and going, oh. and, and I was sitting there going, oh my God, this is all my unresolved issues from the fringe finale. Okay, I see, no, I get that. But then, you know, yes, it's been, it's been brought up and I understand, and I mean, they're in a difficult position because if you don't ask those questions, yeah, the question, you're, you're I mean, also, then as an audience, you're looking at Sky and going, Dude, if these things aren't being brought up, are you an idiot? Like, well, I would just think that you could do it off camera and address the fact that they've had the conversation. Because, and I understand that why, from a writer's perspective, if someone just tuned into season eight for the first time, they need that moment. I mean, and yeah, that's the thing. But you have to kind of assume for the that's... rest of us that have right. seen television in general and know that, or seen Back to the Future and understand how time travel I works. Have seen that. 
Well, I just meant in general, it's pretty much the same rule all across the board. You know, if you change, if yeah. you, it's the butterfly effect. Right. So. And, but no, it was just, it's one of those things where it's like, you know, I understand their tough position because a lot of times, you know, you, you hear from writers who are on shows that have lasted, you know, six, seven, eight, nine years, and they're like, and a lot of times the problem they run into is that you cannot assume that everyone right. has seen every episode. It was just a little episode. nitpick. And yeah. yeah, I know, I get that. It, it's one of those things where it's just like, I was like, oh, we just dealt with this fridge. I, it's it, too much with the timey And And part and of it stuff. is like, I just found the episode so engrossing that oh, that so moment good. took me out of the episode and that was upsetting to me. And I, I kind of was afraid that people wouldn't like the episode because instead of thinking about all the things that the knowledge that the brothers now have sets up, I thought they would harp on <laughs> the repetition and the, oh, we've already done that, and oh, this is a one-off. Like, you have to think about it to realize it's not really a one-off, like, to realize what it means in the future. See, and I would have thought they would have been more upset about the fact that uh, John's father was referenced in one of the flashback episodes. You know, I didn't even remember that, to be honest with you. Like, that was brought up to me, but I, I didn't remember that line. And it was actually the episode when they sent Dean back to 1970s, right. and... And I, I would have to go back and watch it again to know if it matters. Because sometimes, I mean, like, if somebody's that, trying think. to dig at you, right. they can be like, oh, say hi to your dad. And, like, right. so it depends on the line delivery, right. too. Because it seems like they've always known John grew up without a father. So it seems like Or at, that, least, a, at least a good father, yeah. I, yes. I never got the impression that, that well, I mean, his father was, if he was around, he was decent. Yeah, but I always got the impression he was never around. And, like, so the fact that we proved he was right. never around, that didn't continuity Rude didn't things, bother yeah. me I right. didn't think there was a problem and then somebody did point that line out and I was like well I'd have to listen to it because it could have just been like a jab at him right. or it could have been a lot of things or it could have just been you know they don't have someone who does the continuity on scripts though it productions you know technically that is a script coordinator who would look at those issues but it's normally episode to episode it's not like they go back and they Chef right. seasons long of stuff like it's right. not the same as when you're on set and you've got a wardrobe person taking polaroids right, of every right, right, shot right. and and um polaroids they still do that it's crazy um awesome. or like script supervisor yeah, who, you know right, it's, yeah. it's it's a different it's no, a different thing so i don't know the reason for that and that didn't bother me um, yeah that was what i thought would be kind of nagging more than yeah the, no the i know it just that it just bugged me because yeah. i was like oh it was so good and the season i think is so strong and like i just want it to be perfect um I don't know, maybe it was just me. Maybe it was just you. 